G'day, Scott here from New Zealand Fishing World and I'm here today with the Yamaha fishing team to talk about soft baiting. Soft baiting is nothing new, uh, in fact it's been around for a while but it's kind of fallen back a little bit with the advent of all these exciting new lures that have hit the market like Kaburas and Inchiku jigs and uh, slow pitch jigs and they are awesome fun but the reality is if you're fishing in less than 30 metres of water which is a ribbon of water that holds a huge range of fish, soft baits are still really hard to beat. This is a classic soft bait outfit. Light spinning rod, sort of 6 to 10 kg, with a nice, good quality 2,500 or 3,000 size reel, loaded with braid line and a fluorocarbon leader. That's the basic equipment for fishing soft baits. And it might look small, but you can really easily catch a 20 pound snapper plus or small kingies on gear like this. Even if you're catching small fish like small snapper or so on, it's not like the old snapper rods that used to be, oh have I even got one on there or is that my bait? They're actually a, a fun rod to use catching small fish and when you've got big fish on it's really game on. The rods are bent over, the reels are screaming, they're absolutely fantastic fun and we've had a ball out here today catching a couple of good fish. So this is what a classic soft bait lure looks like. Essentially it's made up of two important components. One, a weighted jig head with a very sharp two barrow or three barrow size hook. And then a rubber artificial body that makes up the moving part of the fish. And the way that they're designed to work is that the head creates the movement and the body, which is flexible, swims around in the water and it looks exactly like a little swimming bait fish. The basic method for fishing a soft bait is pretty simple. Soft baits are fished on the drift, not at anchor. And you need to control the speed of your drift. And if you're drifting too fast, you can't fish soft baits properly. So it's super important to fish with your drift chute out, even in a really mild wind, it makes a really big difference to the amount of time that your soft bait is active in the strike zone. And a lot of people undercook their drift chute. They buy one that's too small, and, uh, and the boat won't drag at the right speed through the water. So if you think your drift chute's big enough, probably buy a bigger one. And I like to deploy the drift chute from the front of the boat so that the boat situates itself with the wind behind you. That allows you to cast the lure, engage the bail arm, let the soft bait drift down through the water column, watch the line belly as it hits the bottom, then work your lure back along the bottom towards you and then as soon as it's below you, let it tickle along the bottom as long as you can leave it there. That's where fish will come along and grab it. Once the lure starts swinging up off the bottom and your drift's overtaking you, it's time to wind in the soft bait and cast out again and repeat the procedure. So you're fishing in kind of a rectangle. You're casting out, letting it fall down, pulling it back towards you and pulling it up. And just repeat that cycle over and over again. Fish are going to hit your lure any time after it's hit the water, it can be just a couple of meters under the water, any time it's sinking, and any time you're pulling it across the bottom. Another quite good technique when you're about to pull your soft bait in, is instead of just winding it in, give a really fast jerk and wind movement, and that way you can often attract any sort of prowling kingies that are around the place. Using braid is really, really important because it has no stretch in it, and it allows you to stay in perfect touch with the lure all the way down which is unlike mono, you can feel every little touch, you can even feel what the lure is doing on its way down. So as soon as a fish strikes it or starts touching it, you can actually feel that through the line. It's really important and you can use a really light braid that cuts through the water and, uh, and that allows the lure, which is very, very light, to sink down even if the current is quite quick. One of the things that's critical with, with uh, fishing soft baits is change of light. So soft bait fishermen are going to set their alarm clocks really early and they're going to be prepared to stay out late because in shallow water the change of light is absolutely killer for using soft baits. So I recommend if, you, if you're going to go soft bait fishing and give it a good go, go early in the morning and fish up till about 9 or 10 o'clock, quite often the fishing will back off after that. So if you haven't given soft baiting a really good go, I suggest commit to it, leave the bait and burly home for one day and just take the soft baits out, you'll be surprised at how much you'll learn in one day and probably at how much you'll catch. So go and give soft baiting a go. Thanks for listening, I'm Scott from New Zealand Fishing World. Look forward to catching you next time.